Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Bearded Iris's Forecast Mexican Style Lager. So, right, another Mexican style lager. These are all the rage. This is uh, from Bearded Iris, canned in Nashville, Tennessee. Bearded Iris Brewing Company. That was loud. So what is a Mexican style lager, babe? It, it's typically brewed with a Mexican style yeast, um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It's my interpretation. These beers were originally brewed by German expats uh, in Mexico. And they were just trying to brew something that they liked, that they were used to. And um, they, you know, used corn as adjuncts and, yeah, Mexican style yeast and made this, you know, very clean, sort of ester free, uh, easily drinkable beer. So, I mean, I guess that's the backstory of it anyway. Yeah. But these American breweries are doing their own thing with it. They're just, I mean, they could use, they could be using Mexican yeast in this one and corn yeah. adjuncts, for yeah. all we know, a little bit of lime or something like that. Or they could take it a different direction and not do that at all and do something completely different. So it's kind of, the interpretation is kind of up for debate on these. It's a little loose on exactly what a Mexican style lager is. Not all of these beers are going to be your typical Tecate beer. Bearing that in mind, you kind of got to drink a bunch to sort of find the one that you like the best, if you like this style. So uh, with that being said, let's see if this is one that we like. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely hazy, but I'm down for the haze. Yeah, it's a little bit hazy. It's cool. But then a lot of bearded iris beers are actually hazy. Yeah, so I mean it's one of the They kind of took are... that. They kind of took that and sort of integrated it into this this beer maybe a little bit. Well, like all their beers are hazy. Even a pilsner is hazy. <laughs> yeah, they're crazy, man. I like those guys. Oh. So okay. right. <laughs> so right up front, I think you're tasting exactly what I'm tasting. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that lime, just bam, right up front. Um. It's lime, and then it follows with this weedy kind of back note. This grassy, lemon grassy back note that melds really well with that lime. Very, very clean. Yeah. Um, so they, you know, even though it is a little bit hazy looking, it definitely has that cleanliness that's indicative of the style. I think also like, I mean, they call it forecast and then they have a beach on the the label. They want you to drink this in hot weather. And right? it's I definitely mean, it's... something that I feel like I should be drinking out on the beach, mm. for sure. At least super out in the sun, yeah. yeah. Or like super a soccer hot. game or something like that. This would be yeah. awesome. But it's that little add, it's that little addition of lime that kind of accentuates the beer. You don't I mean, even have to add lime to that. Oh, that would be too like sour. Be at too that much. Point. <laughs> it says just add lime. I mean, I wonder how that would would taste. 4.2%, easy drinker. What does this say here? Let's sail away, find your own country. Pretty cool. 6, 8, 19. So, a few months old, but still delicious. And maybe that's why they call it a Mexican style lager because it has that lime taste to it. Perhaps. If you took away the lime, what would this be to you? Just a, a lager. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's the secret. Maybe that's what they, you know, maybe that's what it is. It's just the addition of that limey taste that's getting it going. And, call, and, and that's why they're able to call it a Mexican style lager. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it's definitely a lager. It's well done. Uh, but that little bit of lime and that low ABV, that's a nice, that's a nice combo right there. Yeah, I totally like that. Totally can crush it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd definitely take these to the beach and crush the shit out of them. So, yeah, I like this beer. So do I. It's a good Mexican lager. Like, 
There's a lot of Mexican lagers that I've had that I just don't kind of, I don't know, they just don't, there's, they, they're not all there. They're too, it's like they're too hoppy, they're too bitter, they're adding too much stuff. This one just has this little hint of lime and a really weedy body, and it's just delicious. So, I'm in. It's good for me. Good for me too. Awesome. Well, all right, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more beer-related material. As always, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.